Who is Wesley Allen Dodd? Wesley Allen Dodd, July 3, 1961, January 5, 1993, was a convicted serial killer and child molester from Richland, Washington. His execution on January 5, 1993, was the first legal hanging, at his own request, in the United States since 1965. Dodd grew up in what has been described as a loveless home and was often neglected by his parents in favor of his two younger brothers. He has stated that he was also ostracized in his school environment and deprived of or denied any emotional growth. Criminal History On 1989, Dodd kidnapped, molested and fatally stabbed 11-year-old Cole Near and your brother William, 10, whom he'd encountered in a Vancouver Wash Dawson public park. A short time later, Dodd abducted and murdered four-year-old Lee Isley of Portland, Oregon. In 1992, the state of Washington hanged Dodd for those murders. According to his handwritten Sexual History, Dodd began preying on children at age 13. In all, he abused as many as 175 children of both sexes, mostly boys, over a 15-year period. Dodd said he moved from exposing himself to fondling victims, to sexually assaulting them, and, finally, to sexually sadistic murder. As he progressed through ever more violent and degenerate acts, Dodd also became less circumspect, acting more impulsively and increasingly risking detection. It was during an attempt at a fourth abduction killing in Camas, Washington, that Dodd was finally taken into custody for good. He tried to grab a six-year-old boy in the men's room of a movie theater, but the boy struggled and screamed for help until a passerby rescued him. The thoughts of killing children are exciting to me, Dodd said in the chronology that he wrote in 1991. Dodd began sexually abusing children when he was 13 years old. His first victims were his own cousins. All his victims, over 50 in all, were children below the age of 12, some of them as young as two. Dodd's fantasies became increasingly violent over the years. He wrote about wanting to eat the genitals of his victims. He eventually progressed from molesting his victims to murdering them, when he killed brothers Cole and William Near, and eventually into torturing them before raping and murdering them as he did to Lee Isley. After he was arrested for trying to abduct a boy from a movie theater, the police found a homemade torture rack in his home, as yet unused. He was arrested by local police in Camas, Washington, and interviewed by task force detectives. Portland Police Bureau Detective C.W. Jensen and Clark County Detective Sergeant Dave Trimble obtained Dodd's confession and served the search warrant on his home. Several books have been written about the case, including Driven to Kill by True Crime, author Gary C. King, and Dr. Ron Turco's book about his experience during the initial investigation to assist in developing a profile of the killer. Arrest and Trials Dodd was sentenced to death for molesting and then stabbing to death Cole Near, age 11, and his brother William, 10, near a Vancouver, Washington park in 1989, as well as for the separate rape and murder of Lee Isley. Less than four years elapsed between the murders and Dodd's execution. He refused to appeal his case or the capital sentence, stating, I must be executed before I have an opportunity to escape or kill someone within the prison. If I do escape, I promise you I will kill prison guards if I have to and rape and enjoy every minute of it. While in court, he said that if he escaped from jail, he would immediately go back to killing kids. Dodd was executed by hanging in the first few minutes of January 5, 1993 at Washington State Penitentiary in Walla Walla. By Washington state law, Dodd had to choose the method of his execution, and state law gave Dodd two options, lethal injection or hanging. Dodd chose hanging later stating in interviews that he chose that method because that's the way Lee Iselli died. He also requested that his hanging be televised, but that request was denied. His execution was witnessed by 12 members of local and regional media, prison officials, and representatives of the families of the three victims. His last words, spoken from the second floor of the indoor gallows, 
were recorded by the media witnesses as I was once asked by somebody, I don't remember who, if there was any way sex offenders could be stopped. I said, no, I was wrong. I was wrong when I said there was no hope, no peace. There is hope, there is peace. I found both in the Lord, Jesus Christ. Look to the Lord and you will find peace. Dodd was pronounced dead by the prison doctor and his body transported to Seattle for autopsy. The King County Medical Examiner, Dr. Donald Rie, found that Dodd had died quickly and probably with little pain. He was cremated following the autopsy, and his ashes turned over to his family. <laughs>